evening everyone, welcome back to another Tuna Purse Fishing episode. Hello, We're hello. A... Oh, hello, okay. hello. He's going to say hello as well. Alright, Walter's here. <laughs> Walter's, Walter's here down. as well, Nate's here. Good evening. Dickie is just Richard. being just being a dickie. Uh, typical dickie, just sits dickie. on his He don't own. want to be on film, no. we don't like it. I don't like it. Um, so we're down at Branksome today, fishing, of course. Old Harry in the background, can't be it. Um, hopefully we rocks, catch. Not the geezer. Well, yeah, hopefully we do. So we're going on the hunt for the place until it gets dark. Um, I've got, well, I've got two bagnell bars out. We're just ragworm. Nate, what you got? I've got a uh, just a two hook flapper place rig with rag, yeah. and I've already stuck a ray bait out. I've got some peeler, yeah. peeler crab, and um, some bluey. Uh, yeah, on a dropper rig. There we yeah. go. Mozza's still. He's still not out yet, so uh, to, to... we'll get him. He'll get out in a minute. I don't know what. What's Dicky on? Probably worm. Worm. Yeah, well, oh, uh, I think he's on panels actually. Yeah, he's got a panel out with. He's avidly he's looking. Got... We're just all looking at Dicky now at the moment, watching he's him. So Has he got beer in his hand? I don't know what he's drinking. Has he got a beer? Dickie. Yeah. What are you drinking? Coffee. Says. Coffee. That ain't coffee. Oh no, maybe it is. It is. It is coffee. So yeah, we'll get back to you hopefully. With we a place fish. or a something. fish, just something. something. We, we need just need something. a catch. Yeah, we, we, need... we have something today. We've, we've blanked. Can't well, blank well, anymore. You blank yesterday, did you? You got a blank. Yeah, but it was a long, long day, wasn't it? Compton. Um, yeah, Compton again, was a long. We're fishing through to the night now, so we'll see what happens. Highs are half ten, isn't it? So yeah. we'll fish. Yeah. I think it's fish ten half in. ten. Yeah. So fish um, all the way in. Maybe fish the slack. And we've had a bit of success here in the past. Yes. Um, yeah, we've I've had a couple of rays out here. Big white. Um, it was plague with sort of, you know, white the schooly bass and stuff. Yeah. Um, Whiting seemed to have disappeared, but I don't want to jinx it. What are you saying? It's, it's going to be a few pin whiting, I think, later. So yeah. fingers crossed, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll have some fish tonight. Um, we'll go through some rigs in a little bit. We've got, um, we did a double, taps double, didn't we? Double bait loader. So we're probably going to show the single tonight. The yeah? little, we'll show the little one because we're only on small baits, aren't yeah, we, really? So yeah. we'll show you the small one that Taft does. He does a bigger one, which we're, is like. We're just. We're, we're ten in, yeah. yeah. We'll have a yeah. look. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll show you. We'll show you. We'll have a look. But apart from that, yeah. we'll, um, hopefully we catch some fish. What are you saying? Yeah. we got a bit of a weight. We got, we, we're putting a wager on. What are we saying? <laughs> I'm not wagering because I'm probably going to blank. What was it? Five pounds for the, five pound for the most fish. Five pound for the most fish. Which is probably going to be one. Well, we, one. we normally blank, so. Or <laughs> none. <laughs> it might, what was if we all blank, though? It'd be like the interest rates in the bank. 0%, <laughs> 0%, yeah, so we'll see. Money back. Money back. If, we, if you blank. Like, oh, fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, right. we'll be back with you. Yeah. Um, we'll see you in a bit. I'll give you a quick update. Uh, nothing yet. It's literally the sun's just uh, just about to set. Um, I've just moved. Well, I've gone onto just a small panel um, with some sand here, hoping for a ray. Uh, the other one's still out on a bagnell at the moment, so my left rod is still out on the bagnell bar with rag. And obviously, then I've moved to the panel on my other rod, uh, my squadron there. So, still hopeful. Um, Hopefully, as it, as it gets a bit darker, we'll pick up something. Um, we're hoping for the place, I say, we're just uh, it's not there at the moment. But, well, they clearly are, but just I don't want to take my bait. So, fingers crossed, we'll get something later. But yeah, well, hopefully, we'll uh, get back to you in a bit. Just going to go see what was is up to. Let's go and have a little look. 
What are you up to? Streetlining the room. Streetlining. Oh, you got a new. Uh... And I thought, well, the pen's just turned up. Yeah. See so what have you? What are you putting on? Let's go and have a quick look. Surf Pro. Um, if you can see that, hopefully, special edition, fifteen pound. What is it? What a uh, copolymer line. Yeah, copolymer. Oh, get down film. Yeah, super tough. Yeah. So you spooled, oh no, you haven't, so you're still spooling the first one. Yep. So you literally got two new, well, were they surf blasters, weren't they? Yeah, surf blasters. Yeah. Um, got them obviously second hand. Paid, I think, 120, which weren't bad for a pair. Um, in really good condition. Yeah. But when I'm working away, obviously, I don't have a lot of time. So I am um, doing it here while fishing. So hopefully, it kills a bit of time. Hopefully, yeah. I'll fish the bike, wait for the sun to go down. So, so you still got... You got one in them. Is that is that one in? I just tucked yeah. one out. Yeah. So in case I don't miss any any bites, but I just thought while I'm sitting here, uh, twenty thumbs, might as well reline the two wheels and get yeah. these out there and see uh see how they perform and how they so get. So they look they look pretty pretty new though, didn't they? Really? Yeah. They don't look like they've been used. Um, never used obviously, as you know, I've I've never ever got into beach fishing that much. So I thought I'd have to wave my gear and see how we go. So new rods, new reels to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, he's even, look, even come in the boxes, look. Yeah, Second hand, in the box. So you've got to get the other one out in a minute. How much line did you get? It uh, looks like a fair thousand, old beard, doesn't it? Over, over a thousand. Oh, yeah, it says a thousand and thirty. So, yeah, I hope that should have enough. That should be enough for two rules. Yeah. I think I think they take about 300. I think it tells you on the spool normally. Yeah, normally. Somewhere. Uh, 500 yards. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, 440 yeah. metres. So, yeah, that, he's, that'll do it. So, yeah, Warren's doing that while he's got one out. Hoping for that place that doesn't seem to be arriving at the moment, but <laughs> fingers crossed. In, uh, you never know. We might get something. We might no, get something. We might get a ray, hopefully. I'd like a little form back or a little blonde or something, but yeah. we'll see. Lovely. Right then, let's go and see what everyone else is up to. Doing a bit of dicky because he loves being filmed. What you got out then? Was uh... it a two up flapper? Or clip down? With some rag? Get it out there, boy. <laughs> right, let's go see what Nate's up to. Oh, he looks like he's at his new bait table that he's made. It's actually pretty good. We used it the other day, but we didn't film that day. It was um, Saturday at Southbourne. We'll have a look at this, look. His little new, new setup, look. Hello. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> this looks all right, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not bad, mate. It's not bad yeah. at all. Yeah, what are you putting yeah. on? I'm going for rag with a bit of black lug. I'm going on the west egg, so my figuring is worm on the bottom, yep. I've got some peeler crab here. Oh, you've got a bit of peeler, look. So I'm going to sort out the crab and that's going to go on a copper. So yep. I'm going to pull my place rig in now because nothing's really going on with that. Yeah, I haven't had any bites on mine, so. Um, again, you saw the double on the old calf loaders. This is the single. Exactly the same principle. Slide your worm up, a bit of elastic on there, hook. This is a 2-0 Wessex rig. We're getting a bit closer this time, so if you can see a bit better when we're baiting up. So your hook's going to be like that, round, right. And again, get the elastic out with the end. Elastic. It's fantastic. It is fantastic, <laughs> and it's your friend. Again, concentrate on the hook, because that's what you don't want to move. Ice so you go, you're binding up around the shank as well, aren't you? Yeah, shank of the hook. Yeah. So you've just got the, the hook point as proud as you can. Wind it all the way down the line. Like that. So what's that on the end, did you say? Is it is black that peeler lug. or black? Oh, it's black. black. Lug, yeah. Frozen yeah. blacks, isn't it? Frozen blacks. So yeah. yeah, so I thought we might as well use them up. Yeah. Snap it off. Slide it up. Turn the hook. Look at that. Oh, she comes. Go there, and as you can see, hook point is... Yeah, go. perfect. So there's that one. So what's that one? Uh, you're on a Wessex? Yeah, Wessex. I'm, yeah, Wessex Wessex. I'm going yep. to two different baits. So bottom one, I'm going to stick with the worm baits. Top, mix it up. Like I said, got some peeler crab, got squid, we've got bluey, we've got mackerel. Who knows? Just bang it all on, innit? Like, See what happens. All in his little bait tray. Convenient little handles on the sides. 19 quid it costs. 19 pounds. So if you want to make, well, if you want one made, 
call Nathan because <laughs> he said he's an hour an expert <laughs> at making them. Oh, it's not the best. You can get what they Safonos, I think they're called. Italian, the little fold-up ones. Yeah, of course it would be Italian, wouldn't well, it? I think they're like I think they're like forty quid just for the tray without the stand. And I couldn't really find anyone that stocked it. So all I did. Yeah. Was so what? So what is the bottom of it? Let's, bottom let's go through it. An uh, Bauer <laughs> light tripod from the old screw fix. So yeah, that's what I got that. but. Me reading the description wrong, it did say I had an M6 stud, but it actually comes with these little clamps that you put your lights on. So, so I've had to arrow die in the bottom. See if I can see that. Here. Uh, I've had just... to arrow die. Well, I used a 17 mil socket that I had spare. <laughs> arrow die that in, and then I put an M8 inside the nut inside the socket. Riv nut and M8 inside in the centre. Big washer underneath is bolted in, and it literally just spins on. Spins and off. on and off. Yeah. So this this detaches this yeah that comes off so you can give it a wash out yeah and then obviously then it's like a tripod style stand so it all just collapses up you can see that there collapses up to there and then if you've got yeah. someone that's massive or you've got 18, foot, 18 tall. foot tall you'll be <laughs> so yeah there you go so there's there's no table I'm I'm actually tempted to get him to make me one if he will but money send him money yeah yeah. <laughs> so put in the comments if you like his uh yeah if you like it if you like it just it's let just us know he's doing this say he's being dicky because he, <laughs> we, he moaned about his knees in the first video yeah so there he is look looking a bit glum today look bless him he don't look so happy does he he don't, he don't look happy today does he yeah. yeah but yeah so let us know if you like the bait table i think nath might yes. do a bit more of an in-depth video if anyone's interested in in the bait table or it's, bait tray, I mean, it's, it's one of them. It's for personal use, really. I just found it, excuse me, something easier instead of baiting up on the floor. I mean, yeah. everybody again, people are going to do things differently. Yeah. We saw, I saw the Safano, whatever they are. Um, I saw them before. They're quite a good idea. But why not a, an A4 school tray? <laughs> bit of recycling. It does the job. It's not going anywhere, and it's you know so far. It's not falling over. No, so. it's, it's, I say it's pretty sturdy, isn't it? I mean, the, the base comes out quite a way, so yeah. it ain't, it ain't going to fall over. So. And it sits in my rod bag, it all folds up in there. It's yeah. a bit of extra weight, really not ideal, but it doesn't weigh that much, though, does it? Doesn't it doesn't so, weigh a lot, so yeah. yeah. So there's no spade tray. So yeah, let us know in the comments what you think, and if there's enough people liking it, Who knows? I'll get him to uh, put a video up of how he made it, or at least, yeah, at least how he made it. Because I think it was a bit of a bit of a bodge to get it together, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to sort of show you how it all, yeah, how it all how it works, works together and what he used in terms of. I think it was all out Amazon, wasn't it mainly? But I mean, you haven't got to use this sort of tray. It's just something I had yeah. the mail. You could it's, use I've something got... else or buy something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you never know. You might be able to send them out because Nate said he's got four. So if there's enough people interested, it's just something. You know, Nate might send one. Might send you one. So. I might. <laughs> right, I'm going to go back to fishing. Nice. I don't think he yeah, doesn't have any bites, does he? Nothing. No. Yeah, so, right. yeah. We'll see. Sun's just about to set, like I said earlier, but we'll see what's going to... See what's occurring. Yeah. Hopefully we get a, get a nice ray, like I said. Who knows? If you look. No, he's not looking very happy today, like you said, but... You alright there, Dickie? Yeah, you all right? No fish on the go. No fish on the go. Right, I'm going to walk back down. So lads, what are we saying? Oh, hello. Oh, it's coming a bit. No. Oh, hey, oh. I just I get getting to that stage now where I know it's in, it's nice getting out, but I come out to fish. You know what I mean? I come out to catch yeah. some fish, and I'm just it's just yeah. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, co the cold weather. Who knows? We don't. Literally, we've been out twice now, and we haven't filmed. Well, we didn't film because we just got so disheartened with it. <laughs> We, we just don't know what's going on like we're not even getting a bite like all the baits are coming back clean and i just saw i was just watching dickie's rod i thought he had a knock then but he didn't um yeah we just i just don't know i mean it's not as if we're fishing you know a neat 
No, you know, it's a big, it's a big tide, tide tonight. again. And yeah. I just, there's just no fish in the sea. <laughs> I think that's what it is. There's no fish in the ocean anymore. Yeah. I think what we need, we desperately need to get out on that boat, mate. Yeah, done. we need, to, we do need to get a boat done. Just I think. To get a bit more, um, a bit more action. I yeah. mean, even down the Chesil, it's just like. But. Yeah. Again, like we've said, we do this as a hobby. We're still learning, and yeah, yeah, a couple yeah, things. It. Having a chat with a chat we met yesterday, um, Aaron. Right rod. Yeah, I'm looking at your right hand rod, Richard, and it is Nick knocking the tad, but could just be the wind. Um, and I just think it's, it's practicing that cast. You know, mm. personally, we've yeah. got decent rods now to be able to cast, and I think we just need to put the time into to practice. So. That's my aim. I need to, we need to dial that casting in, I think. I think that's one of the things I main thing I need to work on is, is casting. Oh, I think the bait presentation we're putting yeah, out is good. That's what I was just about to the say. The baits we've got are, you know, everyone, uh, same everyone as what everyone, everyone else is using. using. Yeah. You know, you look at any Rigs other wise, channel or anything. Yeah. Rigs yeah. wise, everything is, is, is yeah. basically the same. I mean, I've only just started using the old Western rig, but that's because I've seen Gray, Graham. Yeah. So the also of GP using them, and I thought well, I've never used them, so it's worth a shot. Yeah. Um, but am I doing something that I, I've never done because I've not, you know, caught on it? I've always. Yeah. On, on I mean, I'm out on two panels. I'm out on two two O's, and I've not had not even a nibble yet. Um, I was on the bagnels earlier, like I said, um, trying to get a place. It's just nothing. Um, I mean, it's now pretty calm. There's a, there's a little bit of swell out there, but. We just we just don't know what you know don't know what's uh, what's occurring. Hopefully, it just don't make no sense. I think we'll definitely you know we're still at that crossover maybe, but the place is yeah. showing and it's generally a, a good sign that should you be, know spring's here more. and we should be getting sort of summer species back. But it's just a tough one. I we're fishing and we're hoping that come. Well, another couple of weeks, we should be. and the summer species should be back. Yeah, but we should be out. We should be catching, but it's just get you yeah. know. You get to that stage now. You've been fishing. <laughs> oh, we had. What do I have down the chisel last? A couple of pollock. Yeah. And, and you a, caught a t-shirt. And a t-shirt. Oh, and a, and a oh, conga. God. So you know, I have had fish out. Yeah. But it's just frustrating. You come local and. Right, well, you even went. You say you went to Cog Cogden yesterday, yeah, and you had a place, place. Yeah. and it was a tiny little place. Yeah. And again, like I say, bumped into Aaron, met Aaron yesterday, um, on the way up to the car park, and his place, and his, you know, massive but we, PB place, I think it was. Well, it was a big place. <laughs> I don't know whether it's a PB to him, but he, you know, he's he's an avid avid fisherman, and he would give me a few, me and Rich a few tips up there, and it was um, it was it was nice to meet somebody else. But we were definitely in the wrong spot. Again, it's local knowledge. He's fished that beach for yonks. So, yeah. you know, he's a local way with flat, so Yeah, so we'll keep learning. Like I say, if anyone's got any tips for fishing Branksome, Southbourne, or even Sandbanks. Chuck some comments out there. Yeah. We appreciate it. We appreciate the comments. We've had a few in. We got, um, uh, what was his name? He commented on the boat. Tony. Tony. Tony yeah, yeah. Old Somerset Good Fishing Tony. Tony. Shout out to yeah. him. Thanks for messaging and um, keeping keeping in touch um, with the boat videos. And anybody, again, if you, if you want to comment, give us a few tips even you know new to fishing yes, and small just, or big yeah, we're, 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 we're here we're doing it for again it's a hobby we're out we're trying to fish we're trying to learn and hopefully we'll be able to catch some nice fish this year <laughs> and we'll show you what we've learned yeah until then i mean again i just made i scratched my head you know five groins down two years ago i had the biggest underlook ray off i've had off of here and a nice blonde on the same night you know granted it was in the summer but yeah it's not we we can't fish we can catch fish we've seen pictures videos etc we do pull fish in but hopefully we can want some more yeah yeah fingers crossed so yeah we'll get back to you hopefully later on with a uh, with something but um yeah it's getting a little bit disheartening at the moment but yeah hopefully things will turn things will change for the better where was i What are you saying? I'm just freaking set down after freaking <laughs> There's two quacks I've got to put in now. Huh? <laughs> oh, you're hard enough. <laughs> You've got to pre-warm it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Um, yeah. Not a lot. I've just literally sat down. Um, got crab on one, worm on the other. We've got three flapper out. Um, and just two just up and over, just with crab on. Well, nice calling it a day. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, mate. Well, what's up? I've done, mate. It's the car, in it? It's not even that. It's out all day yesterday, one place. Come local, Baltic. Just no fish. Yeah. Like, I was only going to give it another half hour. Yeah, I'm going to wait till high. The baits were coming back with oh, nothing that, on. Mine, mine have been getting emptied. Yeah, mine ain't been tickled, mate. So, my three one I'm taking. And I'm um, ranked it with blue. Yeah. 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 That's a bright light. Yeah, yeah. I know. Many bright lights. Good, isn't it? So, yeah, I think, personally, I don't know, going to take up pole dancing instead of fishing. Yeah, do something, something, no, we stick with it, definitely stick with it, guys. Um, I just think, I think it's just a rough patch yeah. at the moment, isn't it? We're hitting couple, that rough patch. A couple so. of times when you go out and you, you have issues, you end up getting a bit like, had enough with it. So, yeah. I would normally be the one to stay out and carry on, but I'm done. I'm done for tonight. <laughs> yeah, so I say, I'm going to fish till 10, hopefully. Well, see us then, hopefully. See if we can pull something in, but... If you catch... Pull something, you know, pull something off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much us done. So you probably won't see. Well, you might see. So hopefully, see a fish. But I think that's probably going to be the end of the session, really. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Hopefully, we'll be catch oodles of fish. Hopefully. <laughs>